Yo, this is Soul Drum 86 bringing you another video. Listen, man, this is kind of going to be rapid fire. I got to get some stuff off my chest about just wrestling gaming, um, the state of wrestling games, fans um, to wrestling games. Let's get into this, man. I'm not waiting any longer. Let's just get into this. All right. So first and foremost, when it comes to WWE 2K, not many people praise this game. You have a lot of young ones who come up and maybe they're maybe their experience is only with 2K, right? They don't really know about the Aki games from back in the day, the No Mercies, WrestleMania 2000s. They never really played the SmackDown versus Raw series. They weren't born yet. You know, you know what I mean? Like they didn't play those games, so they don't really have experience with them. They only have experience with the new games. So the young people they're they're kind of excluded from this conversation but for the most part every single year year in and year out 2k gets nothing but complaints rightfully so but 2k gets nothing but complaints all right go to any youtube channel go to anything i mean there's there's complaints about the bugs and the issues there's game breaking stuff i mean this is stuff that big youtubers even cover like matt like assemble he covers this stuff man the glitches things that are that are game breaking every time they update the game something breaks in it and then sometimes there are issues that never get fixed in the entire cycle of a year's game and then the next year's game will come out and then that issue is finally fixed but then there's going to be something else that's broken and they won't get to it um universe mode not being enough i mean we how many times have we talked about it on this channel um it's just 2k has always got its its group of complaints right where people are just kind of they're over it they're sick of it they're like you know what this is bs this is this this is that and then you got the whole my faction thing you got them putting player models and all of these different skins and likenesses and all of this other stuff behind pretty much a paywall or a, a or a grind in my faction 2k does so much to the community that is unfavorable to, for the fans like they do a lot of things that are just not consumer friendly right they refuse to update the game in the ways that we want they they refuse to to do anything that kind of pushes the envelope um especially for the 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 day and age that we're in when everything else you kind of see be elevated and then 2K just kind of, they're just there, right? With just these small incremental changes. And year in and year out, we get the same thing with this game. And now we have these independent guys coming through with passion for wrestling. They have a passion for wrestling. And I think that's what a lot of fans are missing. A lot of fans are forgetting that what matters more should be the passion for wrestling when you're making these games. There's a difference between people who just have a job and their job is to get a game out and make sure it works good enough. And that's the 2K guys. Sad to say, but that is the 2K guys. There's a difference between the people who love wrestling and who love wrestling games and then the guys who are well, I've been hired to do a job. I kind of like wrestling. I've been hired to do a job. Do we really think... I, I will say Brian Williams likes wrestling because he's been a part of making the games even on the THQ days. So I'm not going to sit here and try to say that he's not a wrestling fan. But like Lionel Jinx and those other people, I don't think that they're true wrestling fans. I don't know how long they've been watching wrestling. I, it doesn't seem like they really care too much about the real life product when you look at what we get gaming wise. But yet, when you look at the landscape of what Ultra Pro Wrestling is doing, what with, 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 uh, with, uh, um, Wrestling Code is doing, Neckbreaker, all of these games trying to do something different putting passion behind it. When you look at that Wrestling Code trailer, there's so much there. Like, forget about the fact that the game play is slow right now. People keep acting like it's the final thing and that the game is coming out next week. That's the thing that's funny, right? Like, we get sometimes so hypercritical about things that we don't really take the time to look at thing, things logically. We all know, if we use our brains, that wrestling code isn't going to come out how what we saw. 
that's not the final product. It wasn't even as po- it wasn't polished. Nothing about the game right now is polished. The colors are going to change. The colors are probably going to get brighter. The gameplay is going to look a lot smoother. The gameplay is going to be faster. It's not going to stay in the state that it is right now. This was just what they have right now that they can show off and that they felt comfortable showing off. There's 10 guys on that team right now doing the wrestling code. 10 guys. And already with that small little trailer showing Chris Danger, shout out to Chris Danger, Dean Gops, um, they're putting passion behind this game. When you got people making a video game and they love wrestling and they love wrestling video games, I have no choice but to be hopeful for what you are about to bring us. I have no choice. Because it's better than what we've been getting with WWE 2K. I saw a poll, and that's why I'm making this video. I saw a poll. And listen, I get it, man. In life, to each his own. Everybody has an opinion, and everybody has their right to have their opinion. But I saw a poll, and it said, what game are you most excited for? 57% said WWE 2K25. I'm saying, what? you got to be kidding me. And then people keep bringing up, well, I'm a little nervous because of what happened with AEW Fight Forever. Don't compare AEW Fight Forever to anything that's coming out because AEW's problem wasn't even the game itself. They just didn't promote the game right, and they stayed radio silent on everything about it. They stayed radio silent on everything about it, and then they rushed it out. Now, if THQ Nordic, if they would have, and if AEW, if they would have come out and said, like, look, guys, this is going to be an arcade experience. We will not have modes like create a pay-per-view, so don't expect them. But we're not going to have anything like a universe mode. This is going to be a, a fighting game slash wrestling game. This is going to take you back to, like, the Aki games, but it's going to be more arcade than the Aki games. Because remember, Kenny Omega loves Street Fighter. Why do you? That's one of my reasons why I think that the matches are so fast in AEW Fight Forever. Everybody had a complaint about, oh, the matches are ending too quick. The matches aren't long enough. That's because it's supposed to be sort of more like a fighting game than it is a wrestling game. But they never promoted it that way. They let the fans come up in their mind what they wanted AEW Fight Forever to be. And because AEW Fight Forever wasn't that, it was an immediate failure to so many people. But it's because they didn't market the game the right way. Even I had my high hopes. I wanted stuff like creative pay-per-view. I wanted something that was similar to a universe mode. I wanted more of a, a, a better version of Road to Elite. I wanted something that reminded me more of Road to WrestleMania. But, but we didn't get any of this because they never did a deep dive. They were never transparent. So AEW doesn't count. They stayed quiet on purpose. We know that now. They stayed quiet on purpose. When they should have just been up up forward with us, up front with us, the fans, about what to expect. But instead, when they stay quiet for so long, they allow fans to come up in their mind what they want the game to be and what they hope the game will be. And when those expectations weren't met, the game is automatically going to be a failure. So you cannot compare AEW Fight Forever to Ultra Pro Wrestling or Wrestling Code or any of the other wrestling games that are coming out. You cannot compare it because already... Ultra Pro Wrestling and Road, uh, 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 Ultra Pro Wrestling and Wrestling Co. are being more transparent with us. That's what we want as fans. We want the companies to be transparent. We want the companies to come out and say, hey, we're taking our time with this. This is a passion project. We're not going to rush this thing out. We want this to be the best possible experience for you. We want developers to come out and say, oh, wait a minute. We had a hiccup. Demo's not coming out now. I loved when the guy from, I can't remember his name. I'm so sorry about that. But the the, the head developer of uh, Ultra Pro Wrestling, when he said that, look, 
the demo's not coming out when we thought it would, but the game is still slated to release, you know, then. And he even said that the the demo being held back does not push the game's release back. It just pushed back the demo release. This is all for us, and I don't think a lot of people realize that. I was a little bothered by seeing WWE 2K being the the most anticipated game, but it's it's the same game every single year. Yeah, they made some changes this year, but that was because of AEW Fight Forever. They were like, okay, let's add in some 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 match types and let's let's be able to to throw weapons and all of this other stuff. Let's have the blood come back and actually be better than what it was ever in a 2K game. Because the blood is cool in 2K. The way the blood stains and the way it stays on the mat and doesn't disappear, you can make the mat as bloody as you want. It's cool. They did those little changes, but remember, when games come out annually, it's like every two years is when they do the big changes. But when it's back-to-back years, you're just going to be getting a update. It won't be until 2K26 when they do something big again. We should all know this by playing games that release annually. If you play any kind of sports game that releases annually, you do not see the big changes until that third year. Like NBA 2K 23 and NBA 2K 24. Those were like the same game. But the big update change was 2K23 when they did the My Eras mode. But after that, I mean, look at look at the Kobe Bryant mode is nowhere near what the Jordan one was. They were missing key moments that everybody wanted in Kobe Bryant's career. This is what annual release games do. Matt, it's the same thing with Madden. If you're looking for Madden uh, 25 next year to be like this amazing thing, it won't be. They did all their big changes for this year. So it's going to be the same thing with 2K. I've, I've, I've paid attention to these releases. That's how it always goes. In a back-to-back year, expect more of a just kind of a patch update. It's not until that, that, up, that, that third year, that's when everything, oh, it's like, okay, these are the big changes. That's why 2K22 to 23 wasn't great. It was just a patch update. But we but but overall we still get the same game every single year. We get the same game. I don't know about you guys, but I'm I'm ready for something new. And if 2K is not going to give it to us and we got to look for these independent companies with passion and care, then absolutely I'm going to go for them. Absolutely. I'm sorry, but I have no doubt in my mind that Wrestling Code and Ultra Pro Wrestling are going to be good games. I think Ultra Pro Wrestling is going to be the best one. Just when you look at the, the, the write-up of what they have online, that's going to be the best one in my opinion. But like, seriously, what happened to us, man? Like, it... it I don't know. It's it's just it's weird. It's weird. We'd rather go for what we know, even though what we know has been disappointing us year in and year out. I'm not saying that you shouldn't be excited for WWE 2K25, but I'm saying like, man, let's give these new shut. Let's give these new companies a chance, right? You always see people have complaints about a game and they want something new, but then when they get something new and it's different, they they reject it. I guess it kind of goes into that human nature of like people don't like change for the most part. You know, graphics come into play with a lot of people and it's like, man, we've talked numerous times. It ain't about the graphics. It's about the game. At this point, it's about the game because WWE 2K looks great. WW2K looks great. But I I can't say the game is great. I can't. I can't. <sighs> you know what? I want to uh, read something. Um... I want to read something to you guys, man. Uh, This is the write-up to Ultra Pro Wrestling. 
Um, I'm not going to read all of it, but 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 bear with me. And and when I'm done reading this, because I don't think a lot of people have read this in a while, this is about their legacy career mode. All right. I'm going to start right here. It says the story will be split into two decades and you will begin your wrestling career in the 1980s. You can wrestle for one or many different promotions across USA, Canada, Mexico, Puerto Rico, continental Europe, Japan, and the UK. Um, each promotion will have their own unique challenges and opportunities, so you'll never quite know what you're getting into until you walk into that locker room and shake the hand of the promoter. Already, already, I'm hype. And some of them, well, all I'm saying is you better check that payout again. How you manage that is up to you. Maybe you'll be a charismatic machine that rolls through the industry like a titan headlining bouts, collecting eye-watering uh, paychecks uh, with whining, oh, and whining and dining and a limousine riding, or maybe just love wrestling and want to take your skills somewhere where, where they'll be appreciated. Somewhere you can earn the hearts and minds of those honorable, insane, extreme, or slightly smoky fans. Maybe somewhere with the big boys, right? All right, let's let's let, let, let's keep going, man. Let's keep going. Throughout your career, you'll have plenty of chances chances to make new friends, uh, reunite with old ones, impress a promoter, hire a manager, and find yourself a tag team partner. And sometimes you'll need a few mates to save your skin when the wildest fans turn, or help even the odds with a timely run in when your back is against the wall. Let me explain what that means, right? So we're going to have what sounds like a dynamic career mode. 2K guys haven't thought of this at all. They, they, they didn't think of the, having a mode like this at all in 10 years. 10, 10 years. This is give, Ultra Pro Wrestling has given me more wrestling than 2K ever has with what I just read right there. So that means if you have an interference in your match, Buddies that you have made in the locker room will come out and help you. That's what that means. That is exactly what that means. <sighs> but their friendship may come with a price. Are you willing to change up your look to be a part of the team? Not everyone looks good in a suit. Absolutely nobody looks good in a chicken suit. Be careful not to steal anyone's moves either. Or you might see a good friend turn or a bitter enemy. Oh, wait, turn to a bitter enemy in the blink of an eye. But hey, if that doesn't work out, you can always turn heel and betray them all. Do you see what I'm saying? Like we've we've had ideas for this for 2K. For my rise and 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 just just a new mode just in general in 10 years 2k just recycles the same thing over and over and over again Listen guys, I'm not trying to say that there's no enjoyment to be had in 2k If that was the case there would be no 2k content on this channel but what I am saying, and is what I'm always saying, the enjoyment for me comes out of recreating old school matches or doing matches that never got to, a chance to happen, but it's using the old school talent. I love using the likes of Shawn Michaels and Stone Cold and 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 Jake the Snake and 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 uh, and Honky Tonk Man and and Bret Hart and and Jimmy Hart and and all of this stuff. Like I love. I love putting this content up. I love because I've been I love wrestling from the 80s until like to like the ruthless aggression. It's like my favorite. That's like it's my favorite. But I love old school wrestling. And yes, 2K gives me the opportunity to do that through community creations. So I get to wrestle at these arenas that they may not have in the game, but creators who are talented put up this stuff for us to download and it's absolutely amazing they need to give these people jobs the way that they create these arenas and these wrestlers there's so many wrestlers in community creations that look like they're meant to be in the game but they're not 
I'm not here to say 2K is all bad. It's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is we got an opportunity and we have a chance. Could both of these games fail? Absolutely. Absolutely. Ultra Pro Wrestling could be ah, close but no cigar. Same thing with Wrestling Code. Both of these games could be trash. I'm well aware of that. But what I'm saying is allow yourself to be a little bit excited. Allow yourself to be to 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 realize what we could be getting. You heard what I just read, and I didn't even read all of it. You heard what I just read to you. How long have we been asking for WWE 2K to do something like that? Just something like that. I have the opportunity to turn heel or turn babyface or join a tag team. I, I can change my look to match my tag team partner or my stable. I can create friends to come help me when somebody's interfering in my match and I'm getting jumped. Does it get any better than that when it comes to wrestling games, guys? From what we've gotten in the past, does it really get any better than that? I don't think so. Ten years in the making, we have gotten nothing but weaker showcase modes. Weaker showcase modes. Showcase hasn't even gotten better. It's gotten worse. And now they push my faction. You grind it or you pay us the money to get Jean-Paul Levesque, even though he was available if you unlocked him in my rise last year. Now you got to pay for him or grind for him. Let's not give the fans the option to use Roman Reigns with the man bun with his hoodie on. Let's make them pay for him where he where they might have an opportunity to get him. Yeah. Let's not do anything with universe mode. Even though fans want it, they want it to work. They want it. This is what I mean. You want to talk about not listening to the fan base. What are they doing over there at 2K where they hear this? Even the suits hear this. Even the suits, the executives, all of these guys that don't even touch the game. They hear this. They say, ah, forget what the fans are saying. More my faction. I'm sorry, guys, but I refuse to be excited for a game that's going to give me more of the same. I just can't be. I can't be. As it stands, I don't know when Ultra Pro Wrestling comes out. I don't know. I don't know when Wrestling Code comes out. But I do know this. By the time WWE 2K25 comes out, I'll still be paying. I still will be playing 2K24. If by chance Ultra Pro Wrestling at least releases, I think Ultra Pro Wrestling will release way before all, uh, Wrestling Code. But Ultra Pro Wrestling, when that comes out, it might it it, it it might look like I might not get WWE 2K unless. Unless I find WWE 2K25 on sale, because it usually does go on a really big sale. If I can get it for like 30 some bucks, I'm, I'm there. But in terms of getting it when it comes out, I'm treating 2K25 the same way I did 2K23. I'm wait. I'm going to wait. But uh, I just wanted to get that out there, man. I just wanted to like, look. Guys, this is an exciting time. And yes, it's uncertain times as well because we don't know what we're, we're, we're truly going to get with these games. But I do know that if you just, just, just rewind this video and go back or look it up yourself, go to the Ultra Pro uh, Wrestling website, look up the Legacy Career Mode. Um, I didn't even get to the part where you can create the pay-per-view, like create your own shows. Yeah. Um, these new games are going to be awesome because of the passion and the care that's put behind them. Smaller teams, I know. 
it might take longer for certain things to even be fixed in the game when they mess up because it's a smaller team. But at least we know that these guys are going to be on top of it. We have to remember that the people that are making Wrestling Code and Ultra Pro Wrestling, they're like us. They're the guys who played WrestleMania 2000. No mercy. Here comes the pain. SmackDown versus Raw. They remember the good old days. That's who these guys are. And they said to themselves, you know what? I'm in an opportunity now to make a change. I can do my own thing. So let me get some guys together and let's let's get some like minded fellas around and let's create our 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 own wrestling game. Let's create something that fans like us been wanting for a long time that we don't get with WWE 2K. That right there, my friends, is reason alone to be excited for what is to come. Don't let your mind get so negative about the possibility that it could fail. We all know that that's a possibility. But it's better than what we've got year after year after year after year after year after year after year. Complaint after complaint after complaint after complaint after bug after glitch after glitch after broken game glitches. We get with 2K every single year. But that's all I got, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you feel in the comment section. It's your boy Soldier 86, and I'm out. Peace.